He's here tomorrow. But coming up in this half hour, Stompin' Tom Connors, Canadian legend. You know, he vanished for 14 years. Do you remember that? Came back with his autobiography. He's just released a new disc. They've named a street after him. He won a Lifetime Achievement Award, and I went to his house. We'll what, have that conversation. What more is there to do once you've written songs about Sudbury and Tilsonburg? Bugs, Blue Berets, <laughs> and a new one about truckers. A new one about truckers. Uh, first the news, is Lusty Jones. He's our man of the land. He's a Canadian legend. Stompin' Tom Connors when we come back. Lazy wind, gentle breeze. No mistaking that voice. Stompin' Tom Connors. Awesome Still coming out with discs, has a new CD out now. Part two of his autobiography comes out next year. He's a member of the Order of Canada. Lifetime Achievement Award just received from the Society of Composers and a new road just named after him in PEI where he grew up. And I talked to Stomp and Tom at his home just northwest of Toronto. Here to serve. Here we go. Move along with Stomp and Tom, which is the latest disc and produced by Dr. Tom Connors. Anybody we know? Is he related um, to Dr. Stompin? That's what they, uh, they gave me a doctorate down in uh, St. Thomas University about uh, three or four years ago in uh, Frederick and New Brunswick. Yeah, you got a picture of that. And I was very, very proud of that. It was unexpected and uh, uh, very nice of them. And... Uh, so I use it now whenever I, uh, whenever I can, when it's appropriate. That must have been something, I mean, did you sort of at that moment really appreciate what, how far you'd come? I mean, as someone described in your autobiography uh, as from the bottom of the social ladder in this country, I mean, no one had a harder start in life than you. If you have in your heart to do something, you, uh, you decide, well, uh, I better do that. I can't do anything else. I didn't have the education uh, to, you know, uh, get a better job type of thing and uh, music came natural to me and uh, I always followed the old uh, country and western uh, style of uh, singing and songwriting and that kind of thing and so uh, after a whole lot of years uh, writing songs and doing what uh, all my heroes were doing I uh, finally, finally got a break. I'm here today and gone again on my way i am the wind you've had a great year in 99 i mean this has been awesome they named a street after you in tignish and you won a lifetime achievement award from the society of composers in canada as you all know uh, you know the socan awards are mainly for those who get a lot of bear play and I couldn't imagine uh, what kind of an award they were giving me, but uh, about four years ago, I think they uh, instituted a new um, award, uh, Lifetime Achievement, National Lifetime Achievement Award, and so I guess I was in line for that. But who and would imagine was, uh, Bud the Spud would have led to that? The I infamous have, Bud the Spud. I wouldn't have dreamed about it uh, at all, at all, at all. No, it's, uh, it was something... Uh, Remarkable, I think. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I've had a busy year this year. Now, part two of your really long autobiography comes out next year. It's Stomp and Tom and the Connors Tone the rest of your life. Hey, do you talk much about when you disappeared? I think a lot of people think, yeah, Stomp and Tom, he went away for 14 years. Because you were mad and you thought, eh, to heck with this business, this stinks. Yeah, I talk about it quite a bit. I, I uh... I bring everything up to date. I went into a certain amount of details about everything. Uh, there won't be quite as many pages uh, in this one as the last. I think it was 518 pages in the it's last one. Tom. And this one is about 490. <laughs> so uh, all together, over 1,000 pages between the two of them. So it's quite a story. But you've been a really tough judge over the years of Canadian performers who've headed south and made their fame in the States. You really think people should stay here and stay Canadian? I just feel a little sad that uh, 
most of our entertainers uh, who do become famous have to go elsewhere and then um, that country usually inevitably claims them as being theirs. Uh, you know, I remember uh, being in London, England and watching a TV program, Johnny Carson, and, uh, and uh, there was a few Americans at the bar and they were uh, bragging like hell that Ann Murray was from the States and the TV program didn't say any different. And so, um, you know, I had to speak up and say, hey, wait a minute, she's not from the States, she's from Nova Scotia. Where's Nova Scotia? I got in a fight over it that night. Hard to imagine you fighting. <laughs> well, uh, I won't say, but uh, yeah, I've been in a few scraps, I suppose. On a Sudbury oh, Saturday yes. night or two? Yeah, yeah, darn right. Some people I think you know. should be Governor General. I wouldn't like that job. No, uh, Governor you General, you're, 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 under, you're under the cameras too much for that. And, uh, no smoking, no drinking. Oh, that would be hell. <laughs> that would be terrible. Well, it may be better just to be. Speaking about smoking. So okay, go ahead. I'm going to well, say thanks. goodbye anyway to Dr. Tom. <laughs> but it's been wonderful. Come nice house you got here. I like the playroom. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the wife said to me about three or four years ago that uh, she was going to put me in the doghouse one of these days. So I decided to build this room. So uh, I didn't call it the doghouse, though. I call it the hook. So here you are. At the hook. Welcome.